Titan Tornado external wing tanks, so I'm working on the mounting points for the external tanks. And the old system, which is over here, is no longer in use. They used to use these uh, plastic tanks as the external fuel tank. And the hardware, which I got with the kit, actually was in place, and so it's those four brackets that mount to the, the two that mount to the D spar, and then those two get mount. They stick out from the skin, and then you just use a pin and you pin those tanks in place. The uh, that tank is obsolete now. They no longer use it. John said they stopped using that, and I still want to go with the external tank just to have the uh, ability to to pack the extra fuel. John recommended that I modify the wing and I actually use the ordnance rack that has been designed for the Titan T-51 Mustang. Working on the left side of the tornado wing uh, for the ordnance rack. The right side is done. It took some, uh, some significant time. Um, it has the same mounting blocks as in the T-51. This way I'm using the 5 16 um, 18 thread. So. Uh, this a little bit more work, but it's also pretty solid. So played a little bit with adjusting it up and down um, on the right hand side to figure kind of get that sweet spot. And I think I've kind of found it to where it's about right. So ultimately it's going to be, it sits right up about here. Yeah, pretty good. I had to pull all the uh, plumbing out. Uh, I'm not going to use the internal tanks. So I pulled the plumbing out for that. I did leave the small lines in uh, so that if I decide I want to plumb into these tanks, I can do that. So So what I'm doing here is I've got my elevation um, correct. I've got a line down here so it matches the other side. Um, it needs to come up just a little bit, I think. But um, ultimately, then I'm trying to just make sure I've got the spread correct so that those are pulled tight. Um, this one is set. This is level. Um, I'll make sure that this is level where it needs to be, make some minor adjustments, and then drill the hole for this other uh, L bracket on the other side. That is, I mean, it's pretty much in place. It's really, it looks pretty good. That's level. So it matches level. So now what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll drill, finish drilling the base holes down here. I'm gonna put two more down in the bottom here. So the ordinance rack that you see right there actually allows um, a couple of different types of uh, tanks to be used or containers and the first one is the actual fuel tank that they're building which is right there and that's a 10 gallon fuel tank which will mount on that ordnance rack that ordinance so I've got it positioned at the height uh, that I need it uh, to make everything match down uh, down here on the bottom and on the side it's level the thing that uh, I've had to work through and figure out on the other side is I've got to remember that there's a skin that goes in between here, and I want to make sure those blocks are behind the skin. And so to make sure that I do that, um, I basically use this piece here, and I'm going to run it through and up behind this. And then what I'm going to do is use a couple of clamps to hold this in place. I'm going to back these bolts out and pull this back slide that piece up in so that it creates the gap between the block and this piece because I don't want those blocks sticking out of the skin. I want them up tight against the back of the skin. The holes have been drilled in the uprights in the uh, support pieces for the uh, blocks. And so now if everything is the way it's supposed to be, they should all go together and the bottom holes should all be uh, lined up perfectly.
All right, so the moment of truth. So assuming that we have a skin right here, With the tornado will be nice because this won't be, I don't have to lay on the ground to do this. I can stand up and do this. But those bolts should go in. And then that will be tightened up against the skin. So the bottom brackets are done. Uh, so that's all set. Uh, I'll just need to clean everything up and then uh, urolane glue it down. Uh, so those are set. Now I'm going to work on the uh, upper pieces. Working on the upper mounting brackets for the ordnance rack for the left hand side of the tornado wing. On this uh, one, interestingly enough, the way the holes lined up with the uh, already pre-drilled holes in the, the center um, stringer and the rear spar I, on the other wing, those were on the inside. These were ba basically in a straight line all the way up with the blocks on the outside. On this one, it didn't work out that way, uh, but it did line up with these two holes here and these two holes here. So basically I just put the brackets outside, uh, the L brackets on the outside and the blocks on the inside. Uh, still lined up pretty good, so shouldn't be a significant problem. Um, Drilling might be a challenge when I go to drill the holes for the blocks, but otherwise uh, should not be a huge problem. I'll get these mounted in place, drill these four holes, get the uh, L bracket secured, and then I'll figure out the other part. Holes have been drilled for the support pieces and the blocks. Do the same thing I did the other one. I'll pull this out, uh, take them over, and uh, drill them out to the 5 16 bolt uh, I'm using a number 11 drill bit, which is the perfect size, and uh, put those back in. And once again, if everything goes right, I should be able to just click everything back into place, and it should just bolt right up. And I went ahead, and while I had these off, I went ahead and countersunk these rivet holes nice and tight. Everything's in place and everything's I think squared up to where it should be. I've got the bolts in place. In theory, the ordnance rack which would come standard or which would be ordered and I have the ability like I said to use this setup on both my T51 and the Tornado so this will hopefully work out so I can swap them back and forth. The bolts are all the same and so I'll just it'll be the same hardware for both wings, uh, both aircraft and should work fine. So in theory, I should be able to put this up. I have these pieces here to mimic the skin. Find the hole. everything fits perfect. So then this is the mock-up of the fuel tank. So this is the underwing ordnance rack fuel tank fill up on the front. This one's set up to feed with these. The rings go into place. And that, so they latch into place. I still haven't quite figured out the entire mechanism yet, but they latch into place right there. You use the side rods, jam nuts to hold it in place. So that is how the fuel tank will go. Next thing to do will be uh, to put the skins on. I'll pull the top skins and then I'll uh, drill the holes for, the, for those and get that all set uh, with the bottom skins. And that way there's the this is the right side of the wing. This is the tie down. 
So rather than having a having to slot slot the skin so that that piece could go through with a ring on it, uh, did the same thing with the that used the same block that I used for the T51, which is that 5 16 uh, threaded uh, aluminum block. That'll be bolted on there, and I cut the skins for that. I'll talk about that in a second. But the tie downs are both the exact same on the right and the left. And then here's where the external uh, ordnance rack bracket is in place. So those are both in place, uh, glued and then bolted and temporarily clecoed in place. Uh, they're glued right now and then clecoed throughout with the skin and that should hold and then when we go to put the skin on finally those will get riveted at the exact same time and that will hold all that together. Ordnance rack from the out bottom side. So what I did is once I had those uh, glued and uh, bolted into place and then temporary, temporarily clecoed from the back side, I pulled the top skin off, uh, put the bottom skin on, and then what I did is I traced the blocks from the inside, which gave me center view from the top of the wing where I traced the uh, blocks. Once the blocks were traced on the uh, inside of the skin, I took them off, laid them on the table, and then just used a square and uh, went corner to corner of the blocks and then went center and then drilled the hole, a, a pilot hole, and then used a step drill to drill the holes up to the correct size. And that's what they look like. So there's ordnance mounting rack bottom and top. And the holes are a little bit oversized, which just gives a little bit of extra room, but that allows the ability to put those in. Get them started. they screw right in. So the ordnance racks uh, should screw right into place and should be good to go. So one of the cool things that John did uh, while I was down here, so this is the ordnance rack that uh, I've built uh, onto both of my wings. And so there's four points that mounts on both the T-51 wing and the tornado wing. Um, the idea is I'll be able to put uh, fuel tanks, external fuel tanks um, on this rack and have it pump fuel into the, the tank as an extra six gallons or so of fuel on each wing. Uh, the other cool thing is I'll be able to put cargo pods on here. So if I want to carry, um, let's say, a, a, a container like this that looks like a bomb with clothes or other items in it for travel. It gives me more room than what I have in the actual cockpit of both planes. Or um, eventually I'm going to design a smoke container so it'll hold this with uh, some pyrotechnic smoke uh, bombs inside and um, they'll smoke out the back. The other thing is I want to be able to do the pumpkin drop in Alaska. And so I want to be able to release this from inside the cockpit. So I talked with John about it. He came up with a mechanism. So this will be mounted to the bottom of the wing like this. Line along, hit a switch inside the uh, cockpit, and it drops. So, uh, pretty cool, excited that John was able to figure that out, so I won't have to do any more engineering on my own to try to figure that out. I can focus on the smoke stuff. So, anyways, uh, cool update on the functionality of what we can do with the airplane.